hi loves welcome back to my space if you're new here thank you so much for dropping by if you are an og i see you i see you so i'm back with another video i guess now this is literally episode eight on seasons of motherhood yeah now i'm now i'm keeping count for you guys because yo the support i'm getting mad love i love you guys i love you guys so today i'm going to talk about baby lead winning baby lead winning is just letting your baby feed themselves for the first time or last time we talked about it releasing your baby to a solid food this time we're going to talk about leading letting your baby feed themselves first of all a disclaimer you must know just be ready because it's gonna be messy it's gonna be really really messy so i have tips that will help you when you start uh lead feeding okay or baby lead winning lead winning your baby so the first tip is uh for me that what for me is having a schedule one of first of all you create a schedule or schedule is a schedule is a schedule you create one for your baby so you know this time um, i'll be i'll be feeding my baby this time i'll be feeding him this type of meal i'll be feeding him this and this and this like you don't just do random like you just don't do randomly things so you just have to plan create a, a schedule or schedule and then have a timetable of meals that you want to to introduce your baby to yeah the next point reduce distraction when when you're trying to need the baby when you're trying to um when the baby is trying to feed like reduce distraction cut off the television cut off like any music or anything because i've realized that when baby listen to your music they hear your music playing somewhere they'll just start dancing if your television is on trust me that baby will not eat because every change of tone or change of um maybe there's one music and he had listened to that music and he was getting used to it so it wasn't bothering him on eating or her and then the, as another song comes the baby will literally be distracted and so when your television is on the baby will not feed if there's radio on or your phone is ringing or there's a cartoon going on your baby will not feed well because they'll be simply distracted something else make sure when they're eating your they, they are seated like they are seated straight and not lying like i you know my son loves sleeping on the carpet like he just lie on the carpet and start eating and baby might choke baby might choke so just make sure that they're seated upright that's the next point um something else i came to learn is uh large chunks of meals is um the best and highly recommended for me uh, you cut your fruits your veggies fruits and veggies in large pieces you cut your fruit and veggies in large pieces that makes it easy for them to hold as they hold your they they can just hold that piece chunk of meal and be able to feed themselves yeah rather than the small ones so cutting them into big chunks is the best like this one is the best i did that for my son that's how i did my earring this book forget about the earring do i remove the other one no oh here it is so as i was saying chunky chunky um chunky pieces or big pieces of veggies big pieces of fruits is the best for your child because it will it is going to be easy for them to pull right also keep an eye on keep a close eye on your child like when they're feeding you know they they are they're already moving like right? they're moving around so they're moving they're crawling they some are even using uh moving using objects maybe they are wanna shkilia bit wanna songa na viti na meza ukuta so anytime you're feeding them or you've given them meal because it's a, as i said it's a baby lead winning yeah so you've given them the chunk from big uh, the chunk or uh, the large pieces of fruits or you've given him that kind of carrot that umetengeneza you've given them and they're moving with it just keep a close eye on them don't let it, them get out of your sight because the devil the devil the spirits the whatever shaitani are everywhere the devil might just pass like you know so just keep an eye on them when they're doing this also make sure that you play you ensure that every meal you give them is on a plate or a light plate just ensure that it's on a light plate a plate or a, a light bowl that they can easily pick up because i feel like they want something to fold so make sure that you give them piece of these meals on or the fruits the fruit the veggies on a light bowl 
or a light plate something that they can hold and be ready as i said in as i said in the beginning it's going to be messy very very messy so be ready to clean be there ready to check what they're doing because they'll drop funny thing i don't know whether it's my kid or everyone's kid but they drop and then they forget about the entire plate of fruits the entire plate of veggies and go down to pick the one that they have dropped so you better be keen i know it's you'll say um what is what when i was young my dad used to say uh huh what did he used to say anyway the germs are everywhere you want to keep your baby away from germs you want to keep your baby away from germs so be keen when they drop when they drop one piece don't let them pick that piece so when you just pick it pick the fruit and then remove it from their presence or where they are so that they don't see it and then just let them focus on what's on that plate you know because for me i feel like hey mine wana kimbilia akiangusha he feels asara anasikangio asara like unimagine kio ukikula and then you drop kuku yo asara unasikanga so i i think they feel the same way so si <laughs> asara just be ready because as i said your carpet will be messy and you also don't want everything to be there so just be keen when they drop it just pick it and throw it away don't let them eat or feed from whatever they have dropped because the plate is full of veggies then use random uh, just um, use random shapes when cutting fruits it's another tip when cutting fruits use random shapes you'll realize that the baby is noticing these things are different yeah so they'll check this they check this and they note this these things are different but that that way with different shapes the baby will make sure that he has taken every piece so if it was a watermelon that was in triangle and then there's a um pineapple that is on square and then there's something else a banana that is in round shape he notices he or she will notice i don't know whether they are truly wise they'll just notice that they're different so they'll just pick they'll pick the watermelon then realize oh after eating the watermelon then they check the shape they'll pick the next one the next one the next one by the end of this feeding the baby has taken almost every caprice of your veggies or your fruits so guys those are the little tips of baby leading wing i hope you have learned something so till next time bye bye thank you so much Mwah.